Hello and welcome to another tutorial and this one is aimed at the Olympus users that are utilizing the new high resolution mode in the EM5 Mark II and the recently announced EM1 Mark II which looks like an exciting camera can't wait to use it. The high resolution mode is a new feature that Olympus has recently released with the EM5 Mark II. It takes eight images in quick succession it moves the sensor in one half pixel increments to create a very high resolution image. It does have its pitfalls though. If you've been using it, you may have noticed, in fact, I definitely think you've noticed that if the camera moves at all, especially in the case with a telephoto lens, even on a tripod, there are times when artifacts show up from this camera movement and it really doesn't look good. And there have even been some instances when I wish I had a regular resolution image alongside my high resolution one. And it turns out that you actually do. It does reserve that normal resolution image for you on the memory card. So here I have some images that I shot using the high res mode. I have right here the JPEG version and the RAW version which won't come up in my finder because it's so massive. But I also have this .ori file. Now this .ori file is actually a normal resolution image in disguise. Let me prove it to you. Here we have these three images right here. P9240465, JPEG, ORF, and ORI. So JPEG is 50 megapixel JPEG, ORF is 80 megapixel RAW, and ORI is the, in this case, 16 megapixel RAW from the EM5 Mark II. It is the preserved image from one of the eight images that were shot in succession. And if I come here, I mean, not only can I see the thumbnail here, but if I rename this, let's say dash two dot ORF, use dot ORF, we can see here, this is Olympus camera file and I can right click on this and open it with Photoshop. And it will open this original RAW file in Adobe Camera Raw. So very exciting that I do have the original to work with. Now I could go through and rename each of these manually, but if you've been using this mode pretty exclusively or if you have a whole series that you've been using that can be very time consuming and so I actually wrote an application that will go through and rename these images for you. Unfortunately this is only available on Macintosh I do not have a PC version yet but on PC you can still go through and manually rename these files yourself. So I do have a download link in the description that will take you to my SourceForge where you can download this application and I'll walk you through how to use it now. It's very simple. I've designed it to just to work. So as you double click on this, it asks you to select all the images from your card. Now you do have a DCIM folder with 100 Olymp, or you'll have similar folders on your SD card. You need to do that for, or you need to use this method for every single version or for every single folder and use command A to select all images. I'll show you what I mean. So here's my SD card and the DCIM folder, and then you have your subfolders. After selecting a subfolder, click on the first one and press Command A, and it will automatically select all of your pictures. Now notice that you have images and you have other. That's okay, because the next step, it's gonna scan for those high resolution image copies. What it's gonna do is look for that .ori file and it's going to rename it to .orf and add a tailor to or add a tail to the file name so that it keeps it separate. So as we do that, we can see magically that now we have p9240465-hrc.orf instead of having .ori. So not only do we have our Olympus high resolution raw files preserved right here, 104.4 megabytes, but we also have my original 16 megapixel images reserved in 14.1 megabytes. 
So this is a really great thing. You can either abandon your high resolution shot and just go with your 16 megapixel shot if it didn't work at all. If you were shooting a moving subject, maybe a waterfall or ocean waves, then you can even use this 16 megapixel version and bring it into your 50 megapixel version and use it to paint over and replace those ocean waves that may be in your shot or your moving leaves or your grass. So you can use it to patch things up a little bit. But other than that, I hope you, that you find this application useful. I did try to make it as foolproof as possible, and I hope that you put it to good use. Happy shooting.